Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a monkey cake. And um, I'm going to make this for a friend's birthday. And what we're going to start out with is one 8 inch cake round, and that's the bottom part. And then you're going to bake a two layer cake, the entire two layer cake, in an oven proof bowl. Okay, and then you're going to level both of those and just put some icing in between and um, go ahead and place them together. Okay, the oven proof or the bowl one on top of the layer and then we're just going to frost it all in chocolate and you can see that I've kind of already started there so I've already got this on my work surface on my board that we're going to present the cake to him on and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just get him frosted completely with the chocolate frosting and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys the next step, okay? You're gonna need another little cake um, for his ears, but I'm gonna go ahead and get him frosted up the rest of the way, and then I'll bring you back for the next step. Guys, oops, so there he is. Um, I just put on, this isn't even, I didn't even do a crumb coat. I just put on my uh, final layer of icing. I put the two cut sides, or the cut side down for the bottom layer, and then the cut side down um, for the top part as well. So I was able to minimize the crumbs. What I'm going to do now is just kind of remove some of this frosting and by smoothing out my monkey's head. Okay. And all you're going to do is just wipe your spatula in between passes. If you don't do that, you're just going to drag icing um, all over your cake and it's not going to be smooth. Okay, so just lightly, okay, and all you're doing is you're not trying to remove icing necessarily, you're just smoothing it out, and when you smooth it out, it is going to remove some of the icing. So you always want to kind of go a little heavier um, on your icing than you actually intend to have at, on the cake when you're done, because you can see this removes quite a bit of icing each time. And that will help give you a smooth cake. Okay, and then I have another little trick that I'll show you in just a few minutes. But you just basically want to go over the cake one time. Alright, all the way around one pass. So I'm going to finish smoothing out my cake and I just continue this way over the entire surface of the cake and um, I'm going to finish smoothing him out and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what he looks like. Alright, so we'll be back. Hey guys, there he is. Um, he's about as smooth as I'm going to get him. I'm actually baking two cakes right now, um, so this isn't going to be perfect, but it's going to be really, really cute. All right, so now that he's all smooth, um, I want him to set up in the fridge, but I want to go ahead and remove my wax paper. Now the best way to do this, and it, you can see how it came apart. I like it when I have mistakes because... That gives me the opportunity to show you guys how to fix them without freaking out. I'm just going to take my butter knife and push it right back. I pulled it out and I'm going to pull my butter knife away and I can put him right back. Don't worry about the... see? Perfect. Don't worry about the board at this point um, because we can clean that up with a damp paper towel. But go ahead and just while, before you let the icing set up, just tug it away. Most times it won't pull. My cake was broken at the bottom. I didn't repair it. Um, so that's why part of it kind of came out on me. 
So just continue on, flip them around to the next side, and just pull it out. Don't, a tip is not to put your wax paper too far under your cake. And you can see that piece was in there kind of far. So we got him, he's all straight. I'm just going to take a paper towel. And um, these are cute for birthday parties. This is gonna be cute for, you know, jungle theme, anything. The little monkeys, monkeys are popular. This little three-dimensional cake is adorable. And it's really, really easy to do. So it's the hardest part. You can see that our cake board is pretty clean. We're gonna put a little border at the bottom of this little monkey's head. So we don't really have to worry about it being too neat. All right, so. Go ahead and get that all finished up. Now I'm just going to place this in the fridge. I'm gonna let the icing sit up. Um, and then I'm gonna work with my ears because we need, we're gonna need to attach his ears. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Alrighty guys, so we've crumb coated or we've iced our monkey's head and now I've just taken some cake scraps and I've cut out two ears. You can do this by making a little round cake um, and cutting it in half or using a circle cookie cutter and cutting that um, in half for the ears. Um, what you want to do though is once you get your ears cut and they're just little half moon shapes, you want to go ahead and um, place them in the freezer because they're going to be a little bit easier to work with if they're frozen. So go ahead and get those in the freezer and then we'll come back. Alright guys, so there is our little monkey and I'm going to even up the ears a little bit uh, once I get the frosting on them. You can see um, they're a little off but that's okay. And I just took two little skewers and I poked his little ears in. You can see I'm kind of peeking out on that side. I'm just going to tuck those in and um, put some frosting on there and then of course warn the person um, that the cake is for. So there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crumb coat or frost his ears and then I'll bring you guys back. Alrighty guys, so there he is. He's coming along. Um, I just did like a crumb coat on my ears, but um, I'm going to need another coat. I just need it to firm up. And you can see my ears coming apart there. I need to fix that. Um, but we got the fondant on his little face, and I like the way that, or the fondant face on him. So I kind of like the way that looks so far. And I just rolled that and cut that out um, and laid it on. And then I did my little um, fondant pieces for the rest of his face. We're going to get those on him too. And um, I'm going to go ahead and place those real quickly, and then I'll be back. Alrighty guys, so there's this little monkey face. Um, all I did was just put it on top of the fondant. Um, and the way I got this was I rolled these into balls and just lightly pressed them out um, with approximately the same size, okay? And then you can kind of um, polish them up once they're on. So far I think he's cute. I'm going to patch up his ear and finish frosting his ears and then we're going to move on to the next step. So we'll be back. Alrighty guys, so there he is. Our monkey cake. We finished him by putting um, fondant in his little ears. I rolled some little fondant pieces for his hair. And I attached a wavy candle. But I keep wanting to straighten it and not straight. So I don't know if I like that. And then happy birthday Rodney that's who it's for and um, I think ultimately I really like the monkey I have to say uh, I'm trying to come up with some ideas for my four-year-old's birthday so just to kind of show you the back of him that's him and I think he came out pretty good my ear did fall off, 
So I had to make another ear um, from pound cake. So my advice would be this, if you're attaching pieces of cake, make sure um, that you use something like a pound cake so that you, so that the cake is dense enough to hold um, the skewers that you're attaching it to the cake with. Okay, and it doesn't fall apart. So, I hope you guys like that. I really think he's cute. Um, there's a few areas that could have been improved on, but overall, for my first try, I like him. Um, so, share me, guys, and subscribe if you haven't. And, of course, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment or send me an email. And, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.